A basketball player injured his left knee. MRI revealed a completely torn ACL. Bony landmarks are the femoral head and lateral joint line, patella and medial and lateral joint. We can see the torn ACL. Debride the femur footprint until clear visualization of the whole anatomy. A passing pin was inserted at the footprint of the M bundle through the anteromedial portal. A 4.5 mm reamer was inserted to mill the entire femur. A larger reamer according to the diameter of M bundle graft was advanced to the determined depth. A transport wire was placed for further tendon shuttling. Then, the scope would be shifted to anteromedial portal. Mark the desired point of PL bundle with a microfracture all. A passing pin was introduced through the accessory medial portal. Mill the entire femur with a 4.5 mm reamer. A larger reamer according to the PL graft diameter was advanced to the determined depth. A transport wire was passed for further tendon shuttling. The ACL guide was introduced through the anteromedial portal. A pin was inserted. Then we milled the tunnel with the reamer, based on the size of the two bundles together. The two transport wires were shuttled into the tibial tunnel with a grasper. There were autologous hamstring tendon grafts and the ultra buttons on graft preparation station. Now we can see the four folded M bundle with ultra button hanging on both sides. The four folded PL bundle was linked with ultra button on one side and the other side was sutured by ultra top. We started to shuttle M bundle first. The ultra button passed through M bundle tunnel. Flip and seat the button on the femoral cortical wall first. Retrieve the adjustable loop of ultra button until the length of the M bundle graft in the tunnel was around 15 mm. Then we could see the PL bundle with the end sutured by ultra top. Start shuttling PL bundle. The ultra button on the other side was passed through PL bundle tunnel. Retrieve the adjustable loop of ultra button until the length of the PL bundle graft in the tunnel was around 15 mm. We could clearly see the two four folded bundles, M and PL bundle in the tunnel. We started the graft fixation. At the tibia end, there were ultra button from M bundle and ultra top suture of PL bundle. Here comes the stinda button. The stinda button could be loaded onto the M bundle ultra button. We are now dealing with the tibial end of PL bundle. The two suture end of ultra top were passed through one hole of stinda button. The loop side of ultra top was passed through the other hole of the stinda button with passing suture. The two ends of the ultra top were then tied with a sliding locking knot. Finally, the AEM bundle loop was tightened with the knee at 90 degrees of flexion. The PL bundle loop was tightened with the knee in full extension. Anatomic double bundle ACL tension was confirmed under the arthroscope finally. The two four-folded AEM and PL bundles were done. The final construct was demonstrated in this picture. On X-ray, the femur AEM and PL tunnel diverged laterally along with one tibia tunnel. Therefore, the risk of tunnel coalition is low in our technique.